Hey, PBC family, just talk, I just want to talk to you about uh, how to get ready for this Sunday at Pocosin Baptist. Um, we're going to be meeting at 1030, as usual, uh, to continue to work through the book of Acts. Uh, so this Sunday, we will be finishing up Acts chapter 20. <clears throat> so the Apostle Paul is hoping to get to Jerusalem uh, before the Feast of Pentecost, which is the day of course, when the Holy Spirit descended on the early church. And it's a significant day. He wants to be in Jerusalem for that. Um, and uh, on his way, we, we left him in Troas last Sunday. Uh, and he's going to go near the city of Ephesus, where he spent over two years doing ministry. Um, he doesn't want to stop in Ephesus. He's concerned it's going to take him too long to say goodbye to everybody there. Um, but he wants to meet with the elders, the pastors of the church uh, in Ephesus and probably churches surrounding Ephesus. And so he, he gathers uh, them to meet him in a town called Miletus. Um, and there he's going to deliver uh, this speech uh, about the importance of leadership in the local church. And we're going to be taking a look at that uh, on Sunday. And what, what, what I want to encourage you in is this. Um, a, uh, a, a healthy Christian needs a healthy church and a healthy church needs healthy leadership. In fact, I would say that a church cannot be healthy, truly as healthy as it should be, apart from healthy leadership. Uh, and so um, whether you will ever be a, a pastor or an elder in your church or not, it matters that you understand what the Bible says about healthy leadership, healthy shepherding, in the local church. And so we're gonna see uh, Paul's example of a healthy leader, and then also we're gonna see some exhortations that he gives uh, to uh, these elders in Ephesus. And um, through that, we're gonna see what God has to say to us uh, in our leadership at Pocosin Baptist Church today. So I would encourage you to come uh, preparing um, and asking God to, to speak to your heart. It'll be Acts chapter 20, starting uh, in verse 13 through the end of the chapter. So ask God to speak to you, but also ask God to speak to your elders at PBC um, and pray that God would use his word to shape us, to instruct us, to grow us, and, and maybe even uh, take some time to encourage some of the men that God has called to shepherd us at PBC. Uh, and, and maybe look at some things that you see in the text that they're doing well and encourage them in that. I think that would be a good thing. Um, all right, so that's the Sunday morning. I encourage you to be there uh, with us for that Sunday evening, of course. We gather at 6. I want to encourage you to, to make time to be a part of those evening meetings if you're available. Uh, those are um, normally about 55 minutes to an hour. We, we, we don't go past an hour. Um, we, we sing a few songs. We'll hear a short devotional sermon uh, from one of our brothers who's seeking to grow in his um, teaching abilities. And then we'll have a time of prayer. About half the time is devoted to prayer. And what we do is we, well, right now we're going through our church directory and just praying through, uh, through members of the church, praying for you. Uh, and it's a really sweet time of fellowship. So we would encourage you to come if you're able and be a part of that this Sunday night at six o'clock. All right, all that's coming up this Sunday. Um, and want to remind you that it is um, Daylight Savings Time this weekend. Also remind you that the baby bottles for CareNet, those are due back on Sunday. So please uh, bring those with you, filled with whatever the Lord has give, led you to give. And we just can't wait to worship with you on Sunday and see what God has to do uh, in us and through us for his glory. See you then.